Serbs of Bosnia and Herzegovina The Serbs of Bosnia and Herzegovina Serbian Cyrillic SRBIU Bosnia I Herzegovini Romanized SRBIU Bosnia I Herzegovini are one of the three constitutive nations state forming nations of the country predominantly residing in the political territorial entity of Republika Srpska in the other entity Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina Serbs form the majority in Djarvar, Lomok, Bosansko Grehovo, and Bosanski Petrovac. They are frequently referred to as Bosnian Serbs, Serbian, Bosanski SRBI, Romanized, Bosanski SRBI in English, regardless of whether they are from Bosnia or Herzegovina. They are also known by regional names such as Krajisnisi Frontiersmen of Bosanska Krajina, Sembersi Sembirians, Bosansi Bosnians, Burkani Bursians, Romanij Sai Romanijans, Pasif Sai Pasadians, Herzegov Sai Herzegovinians. Serbs have a long and continuous history of inhabiting the present day territory of Bosnia and Herzegovina, and a long history of statehood in this territory. From the 15th century to the 19th century, Orthodox Serbs in modern day Bosnia and Herzegovina were often persecuted by the government of the Ottoman Empire. In the 20th century, Persecution by the government of Austria-Hungary, the WW2 genocide, political turmoil, and poor economic conditions all caused more Serbs to emigrate. In the 1990s, many Serbs moved to Serbia proper and Montenegro. Having lived in much of Bosnia-Herzegovina prior to the Bosnian War, the majority of the Serbs now live in Republika Srpska. According to the report by the Bosnia and Herzegovina Statistics Office, on the census of 2013, there were 1,086,733 Serbs living in Bosnia and Herzegovina. History Middle Ages It is generally believed that Slavs settled the Balkans in the 7th century. In the second quarter of the 7th century, the Serbs were one of the main Slavic tribes who settled the peninsula and came to dominate the previous Slav settlers. In the same manner as their Croat counterparts, the Serb elite respectively labeled those mass Slavic populations they ruled over as Serbs, thus absorbing large numbers of Slavs, whose ancestry was in actuality traced back to the previous century. Serb settlement was initially in modern-day southwestern Serbia. The region of Rasia Raska was the center of Serb settlement, and Serbian tribes are also thought to have occupied parts near the Adriatic coast, especially modern-day Herzegovina and Montenegro. Prince Vlastimir R. 830-850 united the Serbian tribes in the vicinity, and after a victory over the advancing Bulgars, he went on to expand to the west, taking Bosnia and Zahang Herzegovina. Afterwards, Prince Petr R. 892-917, defeated Duke Tysmir of Bosnia, annexing the Valley of Bosna. Around this time is when Bosnia is first attested to as a separate territory in the Administrando Imperio Khan, 960, a political and geographical document written by Eastern Roman Emperor Constantine Roman VII. In a section dedicated to the territories of the Serbian princes, lands are described as including Basona, Katara, and Disnik, demonstrating Bosnia's dependency on Serbs, although the areas comprised were smaller than modern-day Bosnia. Prince Kaslev of Serbia then enlarged Serbia, incorporating Travunija and parts of Bosnia effectively ruling Bosnia in the 10th century until his death in 960. Following his death, much of Bosnia would be subjected to Croatian rule before the arrival of Samuel of Bulgaria, who subjugated the territory but eventually found himself deposed by the Byzantine Empire. Over the course of the 11th century, Bosnia shifted between partial Croatian and partial Serbian governance. To the south of Bosnia proper lied the territories of Dukljia, which included Zeta and Zaklumia, who were consolidated into a Serbian kingdom ruled by local Serb princes. By the 1070s, this would also include the region of Raska. Under Constantin Badin, Serbian territory expanded to take most of Bosnia, but the kingdom broke up following his death in 1101. 
for much of the twelfth century bosnia was in a tug of war between hungary and the byzantine empire hungary annexed it eleven thirty seven before losing it to the byzantine empire in eleven sixty seven and retaking it in eleven eighty after eleven eighty Ban Kilin, ruler of Bosnia, began to assert his independence and Hungarian control became nominal. Prior to this emerging independence, Bosnia thus found itself at times under Serbian rule, particularly during the middle of the 10th century and the end of the 11th. For most of the early medieval period Herzegovina was in practice Serbian territory. Bosnia proper, however, was tied politically and religiously more towards Croatia. The historians John Fine, Jr. and Robert J. Donia, in considering that before 1180 Bosnia briefly found itself in Serb or Croat units, concluded that neither neighbor had held the Bosnians long enough to acquire their loyalty or to impose any serious claim to Bosnia. In the second half of the 12th century, Serbian unity and power grows exponentially with the formation of the Nemanjic dynasty-led Modern-day Montenegro, Bosnia, Herzegovina, and central Serbia would come under his control. By the Middle Ages, Eastern Orthodox Christianity had become entrenched in Herzegovina, and during the Nemanjic dynasty the Serbian Orthodox Church's influence grew in the region. However, Orthodoxy lacked consequential progression into Bosnia until Ottoman conquest. The Katromanic Vux, Cyrillic, Katromanic, P.L., Katromanici slash Katromanici noble, and later royal dynasties would rule Bosnia from the second half of the 13th century until Ottoman conquest in 1463. It began with Stephen Roman II, Ban of Bosnia in 1322, who managed to expand the realm of the Bosnian state with the acquisition of territories that included Herzegovina, enabling the formation of a single Bosnia and Herzegovina political entity for the first time. The Katromanic intermarried with several southeastern and central European royal houses which aided in their dynastic development. Stephen Roman II's nephew Tvr Tkoi, a descendant of the Serbian Nemanjic dynasty, succeeded him and eventually established the Kingdom of Bosnia in 1377. The last sovereign, Stephen Tomasvic, ruled briefly as despot of Serbia in 1459, and as King of Bosnia between 1461-63, before losing both countries and his life to the Ottoman Turks. Herzegovina fell in 1466. According to the historian Nevin Salabovic, there was a general awareness in medieval Bosnia, at least amongst the nobles, that they shared a joint state with Serbia and that they belonged to the same ethnic group. That awareness diminished over time, due to differences in political and social development, but it was kept in Herzegovina and parts of Bosnia, which were a part of Serbian state. Ottoman rule The conquest of Bosnia by the Ottomans brought significant administrative, economic, social and cultural changes to the country. The Ottomans, however, allowed for the preservation of Bosnian identity and territorial integrity by merely making Bosnia an integral province of its empire. Under the millet system, Christians were afforded a level of autonomy by the provision of local leaders who served the Ottoman state for religious, social, administrative, and legal purposes. The Ottomans allowed Christian communities to band together around these religious leaders and preserve their customs. Consequently, this system also made a clear distinction between Muslims and non-Muslims, paving the way for Islamic supremacy and discrimination towards Christians. For instance, non-Muslims had to pay additional taxes and could not own any land or property or hold positions in the Ottoman state apparatus. Thus, conversion to Islam was advantageous to Bosnians and the 15th and 16th centuries marked the beginning of the Islamization period. A major effect of this system was also the development of distinct national identities among the three Bosnian groups during the 19th century. Given the threat of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the Catholics of Bosnia faced strenuous religious oppression, although this same level of discrimination would also be applied to Orthodox believers with the rise of an independent Serbian state in the 19th century. The Ottomans introduced a sizable Orthodox Christian population into Bosnia proper, 
including Vlaps from the Eastern Balkans. The conversion of the adherents of the Bosnian Church also aided the spread of Eastern Orthodoxy. Later areas abandoned by Catholics during the Ottoman Habsburg Wars were settled with Muslims and Orthodox Christians. Construction of Orthodox monasteries and churches throughout Bosnia started in the northwest in 1515. An Orthodox priest was present in Sarajevo already in 1489, and the city's first Orthodox church was constructed between 1520 and 1539. By 1532, Bosnian Orthodox Christians had their own metropolitan bishop, who took up official residence in Sarajevo in 1699. By the end of the 18th century, the Metropolitan of Bosnia had authority over the Orthodox bishops of Mostar, Zivornik, Novi Pazar, and Sarajevo. A turning point in relations between the Orthodox Church and the Ottomans occurred when Orthodox clergy renounced loyalty to the sultans and started encouraging and aiding peasant rebellions and seeking Christian allies in neighboring lands, which in turn resulted in the persecution of their clergy. As the rise of Western European development overshadowed the feudal Ottoman system, the empire began a sharp decline that was evident in the 19th century. Bosnia was at this point a regressive state, with large landowners, poor peasantry, and a lack of industry and modern transport. A number of anti-Ottoman rebellions occurred, as the dissatisfaction of land-owning Bosnian Muslims aligned itself with nationalistic movements of the non-Muslim population. The various rebellions were largely directed at the Ottoman state and not a product of infighting between the various groups. The Serbs of Bosnia allied themselves with the cause of Serbian statehood. Muslim rebellions sought to stop administrative reforms and peasant rebellions were due to agrarian strife. After the reorganization of the Ottoman army and abolition of the Janissaries, Bosnian nobility revolted in 1831, led by Husein Gradasevic, who wanted to preserve existing privileges and stop any further social reforms. The pivotal rebellion began in 1875 with an uprising in Herzegovina on the part of the Christian population, led by Bosnian Serbs. In Italy, a revolt against overtaxation by Bosnian Muslim landowners, it spread to a wider rebellion against the Ottoman rulers, with Bosnian Serbs vying for unity with Serbia. The Ottoman authorities were unable to contain the rebellion, and it soon spread to other regions of the empire, with the Principality of Serbia joining and the Russian Empire doing the same, resulting in the Russo-Turkish War. The Turks lost the war in 1878. After the Congress of Berlin was held in the same year, Mandate of Bosnia and Herzegovina was transferred to the Austro-Hungarian Empire with nominal Ottoman sovereignty. According to the historian Dusan T. Batakovic, around one quarter of rebel leaders voivodes of the Serbian Revolution were born in modern-day Bosnia and Herzegovina, or had their roots in the region of Bosnia or Herzegovina. Machen Nenadovic met with local Serb leaders from Sarajevo in 1803 in order to negotiate their part in the rebellion, with the ultimate goal being that the two armies meet in Sarajevo. Austro-Hungarian rule Austro-Hungarian rule initially resulted in a fragmentation between the citizenry of Bosnia and Herzegovina, as technically they were subjects of the Ottomans while the land belonged to Austria-Hungary. The Austro-Hungarian administration advocated the ideal of a pluralist and multi-confessional Bosnian nation. Joint Imperial Minister of Finance and Vienna-based Administrator of Bosnia Bini Kali thus endorsed Bosnian nationalism in the form of Bisnjasvo Bosniak, good with the aim to inspire in Bosnia's people a feeling that they. The Austro-Hungarians viewed Bosnians as speaking the Bosnian language and divided into three religions with equal rights. On the one hand, these policies attempted to insulate Bosnia and Herzegovina from its irredentist neighbors Orthodox Serbia, Catholic Croatia, and the Muslim Ottoman Empire, and to marginalize the already circulating ideas of Serbian and Croatian nationhood among Bosnia's Orthodox and Catholic communities, respectively. On the other hand, the Habsburg administrators precisely used the existing ideas of nationhood, especially Bosnian folklore and symbolism, 
in order to promote their own version of Bosjak patriotism that aligned with loyalty to the Habsburg stay. Habsburg policies are thus best described not as anti-national, but as cultivating their own style of pro-imperial nationalisms. These policies also heightened divisions along national and religious lines. Bosnian Serbs felt oppressed by the Austro-Hungarians, who favored Roman Catholicism, and in turn the Croat population, who were the only members of the three constituent groups with any loyalty to the empire. After the death of Calais, the policy was abandoned. By 1905, nationalism was an integral factor of Bosnian politics, with national political parties corresponding to the three groups dominating elections. Austro-Hungarian authorities banned textbooks printed in Serbia and a number of other Serbian language books they deemed to carry nationalistic content. A number of Bosnian Serb cultural and national organizations were formed in the early 20th century, one of which was the Prosjeta. The Austro-Hungarian Empire would wind up annexing the territory in 1908. The first parliamentary elections in Bosnia and Herzegovina were held in 1910. The population was classified according to their ethno-religious status, and each group was given its share of seats in the parliament according to their population. As the majority, the Serb representation was won by the Serbian National Organization, who received 31 seats. On June 28, 1914, Bosnian Serb Gavrilo Princip made international headlines after assassinating Archduke Francis Ferdinand in Sarajevo. This sparked World War I leading to Austria-Hungary's defeat and the incorporation of Bosnia and Herzegovina into the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. World War I, War I, War I, War I During WWI serves in Bosnia were often blamed for the outbreak of the war, the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, and were subjected to persecution by the Austro-Hungarian authorities including internment and looting of their businesses by people who were instigated to ethnic violence. Early in the war, the Austro-Hungarian authorities unleashed a persecution of Bosnian Serbs, which included the internment of thousands in camps, court-martialing and death sentencing of intellectuals, massacres by the Schutzkorps, looting of property and forced expulsions. Bosnian and Herzegovinian Serbs served in Montenegrin and Serbian army en masse as they felt loyalty to the overall pan-Serbian cause. Bosnian Serbs also served in Austrian army and were loyal to Austria-Hungary when it came to Italian front, but they often deserted and switched sides when they were sent to the Russian front or to Serbian front. Many Serbs supported the advance of fellow Montenegrin Serb army when it entered into Herzegovina and advanced close to Sarajevo in 1914, as the king of Montenegro, King Nicholas I. Petrovich Njigos, was very popular among Bosnian and Herzegovinian Serbs because of his pan-Serbian and Serbian nationalist views and helped during the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes. After World War I, Bosnia and Herzegovina became part of the internationally unrecognized state of Slovenes, Croats, and Serbs which existed between October and December 1918. In December 1918, this state united with the Kingdom of Serbia as Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes, which was renamed the Kingdom of Yugoslavia in 1929. The Serbian leadership of the state decided to acknowledge demands of Muslim representative Mayim Spaho and respect the pre-war territorial integrity of Bosnia and Herzegovina, therefore not changing internal district borders of Bosnia. Bosnian Serbs largely approved of a unification with Serbia as it appeared to be the realization of the common dream of being unified. However, part of the Bosnian Serb population were unsatisfied given the fact that there was not a formal establishment between Bosnia and Herzegovina and Serbia. Bosnian Muslims saw the new arrangement as a form of colonial rule and instead argued for a decentralized unitary state with autonomy rights for constituents. Bosnian Croats, meanwhile, supported the federalization of Yugoslavia into six units, one of which was to be Bosnia and Herzegovina. The 1921 constitution affirmed the continued territorial existence of Bosnia 
as well as safeguarding protections for Muslims. This lasted until 1929 when King Alexander declared a dictatorship on 6 January. The kingdom was renamed into Yugoslavia, divided into new territorial entities called Banovinas, largely based on natural borders. Bosnia and Herzegovina was divided into four Banovinas, with Serbs constituting a majority in three of them. King Alexander was killed in 1934, which led to the end of dictatorship. In 1939, faced with killings, corruption scandals, violence, and the failure of centralized policy, the Serbian leadership agreed a compromise with Croats. Banovinas would later, in 1939, evolve into the final proposal for the partition of the joint state into three parts, or three Banovinas, one Slovene Banovina, one Croatian, and one Serbian, with each encompassing most of the ethnic space of each ethnic group. Most of the territory of contemporary Bosnia and Herzegovina was to be part of the Banovina Serbia, since most of the territory of Bosnia and Herzegovina was majority Serb inhabited, and the Serbs constituted overall relative majority. On 26 August 1939, the president of the Croatian Peasant Party, Vladko Mesic and Dragis Sivitkovic made an agreement Sivitkovic Mesic Agreement, according to which a Banovina of Croatia was created, which included Sava and the littoral Banovina, along with a number of districts in southern Dalmatia, the Esrem, and northwestern Bosnia. Around 20% of the Croatian Banovina was inhabited by Serbs, numbering some 800,000. These concessions were unsatisfactory to some Croats, with Serbs also being dissatisfied and seeking a Banovina of their own. Bosnian Muslims, meanwhile, were not consulted on the partition plan and given no alternatives. Competing ideologies among Serbs and Croats and their influences on Bosnia and Herzegovina, and, to a broader extent, a lack of agreement on inter-ethnic relations in the new Yugoslav state and its governance resulted in perpetual instability. Yugoslavia, however, would only collapse after the Nazi Germany invasion of the country in April 1941, which dismembered the country into three different zones of occupation. World War Roman II, Min II. Following the invasion of Yugoslavia, the territory of Bosnia and Herzegovina was incorporated into the independent state of Croatia NDH, an Italian German installed puppet state, with the Croatian fascist Astace regime and its leader Anti Pavlik put in power. Under Astace rule, Serbs along with Jews and Roma people were subjected to systematic genocide, with Serbs being the main target due to their large population. Serbs in villages in the countryside were hacked to death, with various tools, thrown alive into pits and ravines, or in some cases locked in churches, that were afterwards set on fire. The scale of the violence meant that approximately every sixth Serb living in Bosnia and Herzegovina was the victim of a massacre and virtually every Serb had a family member that was killed in the war, mostly by the Estes. The experience had a profound impact in the collective memory of Serbs in Croatia and Bosnia. Others were sent to concentration camps. The Krusica concentration camp, located near the town of Vitez, was one of the concentration camps established by Ostash. It was founded in April 1941 for Serb and Jewish women and children. According to the U.S. Holocaust Museum, 320,340,000 Serbs were murdered under Ostasha rule. An estimated 209,000 Serbs, or 16.9% of its Bosnia population, were killed on the territory of Bosnia and Herzegovina during the war. In an interview on 4 November 2015, Bakir Izbegovic, Bosniak member of the Presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina, affirmed the persecutions of Serbs in the independent state of Croatia as genocide. Serbs suffered a drastic demographic shift during WW2 due to their persecution. The official brutal policies of the independent state of Croatia, involving expulsion, murder, and forced conversion to Catholicism of Orthodox Serbs contributed that Serbs never recover within Bosnia and Herzegovina. By the plans of Nazi Germany and the independent state of Croatia, 110,000 Serbs were relocated and transported to German-occupied Serbia. 
just in the period of May to August 1941, over 200,000 Serbs were expelled to Serbia. In the heat of war, Serbia had 200,000, 400,000 Serbian refugees from Astasa held Bosnia and Herzegovina. By the end of war, 137,000 Serbs had permanently left the territories of Bosnia and Herzegovina. A multi-ethnic resistance against the Axis emerged in the form of the Yugoslav partisans, led by Josip Broz Tito. At the same time, a Serbian nationalist and royalist guerrilla in the Chetniks was formed, led by Draza Mihailovic, which was initially a resistance movement but became increasingly collaborationist. Serb allegiance was split between the partisans and Chetniks, although Serbs in eastern Bosnia aligned themselves more with the partisans who experienced military success in the area. As in other parts of the NDH, the Estes policies in Bosnia and Herzegovina caused a rebellion among the Serb population. In June 1941, Serbs in eastern Herzegovina staged an armed rebellion against the NDH authorities following massacres of Serbs, which was suppressed after two weeks. Persecution of Serbs resulted in the prevalence of resistance movements in Serb-populated areas including parts of Bosnia. Another rebellion, led by the partisans, began in July 27, 1941. Some of these insurgents in turn committed atrocities against the Muslim and Croat population. In the early stages of the war, Serbs formed around 90% of partisan units that were active in the NDH. Most of the anti-fascist combat and battles were fought in mainly Serb-inhabited areas of Bosnia and Herzegovina, such as the Battle of Neretva, Battle of Sajeska, Diarvar Operation, and Kazara Battle. During the entire course of the WW2 in Yugoslavia, according to the records of recipients of partisan pensions, 64.1% of all Bosnian partisans were Serbs. Between 1945 and 1948, following World War Roman II, approximately 70,000 Serbs migrated from the People's Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina to Vojvodina after the Germans had left, which was a part of communist policy. Communist Yugoslavia During the communist era, Bosnia and Herzegovina were populated by three ethnic groups, the Croats, the Serbs and the Muslims later re-designated as Bosniaks. Many Serbs declared their nationality as Yugoslav, and like all ethnic groups at the time, Serbs collaborated and were friends with their fellow citizens, whilst also maintaining their culture, primarily through their following of Serbian Orthodox Church. Many Serb scholars were subjected to persecution and false accusations of irredentism. Demographics The 2013 population census registered 1,086,000, 733 Serbs, or 30.8% of the total population of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Bosnian Serbs are the most territorially widespread nation of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The vast majority, i.e. 1,000,299, live on the territory of the Republika Srpska, where they constitute 81.5% of population. Bosnian Serbs are adherents of the Serbian Orthodox Church. Serbs form a demographic majority in these municipalities, Banja Luka, Vigeljina, Prijdor, Dabaj, Sivornik, Gradiska, Teslik, Prnjavar, Laktasi, Trebinj, Derventa, Novi Grad, Madrika, Kazorska, Dubica, Pale, Foka, Drvar, Lamak, Vasansko, Grahov. Serbs are also a relative minority in BRCKO. Demographic History Medieval Bosnia and Ottoman Empire Heading 32 of Du Administrando Imperio of Constantine Porphyrogenitus is called on the Serbs and the lands in which they live. It speaks of the territories inhabited by Serbs in which he mentions Bosnia, specifically two inhabited cities, Kater and Disnik, both of which are in an unidentified geographic position. Austria-Hungary and Kingdom of Serbs Croats and Slovenes Kingdom of Yugoslavia Austria-Hungary pursued a demographic policy of reducing the Serbian population and trying to erase their identity, converting it to a Bosnian nationhood therefore. 
Austrian population census only had religious affiliation as a main determinism of identity. In the last Austrian census of 1910, there were 825,418 Orthodox Serbs, which constituted 43.49% of the total population. The Catholic Encyclopedia, 1917, states, according to the census of 22 April 1895, Bosnia has 1,000,000, 361,868 inhabitants, and Herzegovina 229,168, giving a total population of 1,591,030. World War Roman II, Min II. Serbs suffered large negative decreasing demographic shift during WW2. The official policies of the independent state of Croatia, involving expulsion, Murder and forced conversion of Serbs contributed that Serbs never recovered demographically within Bosnia and Herzegovina. The Federal Bureau of Statistics in Belgrade composed a figure of 179,173 persons killed in the war in Bosnia and Herzegovina during the Second World War, 129,114 Serbs, 72.1%. 29,539 Muslims, 16.5%, 7th, by the plans of Nazi Germany and the independent state of Croatia, 110,000 Serbs were relocated and transported to German-occupied Serbia. Just in the period of May to August 1941, over 100,000 Serbs were expelled to Serbia. In the heat of war, Serbia had 200,000 minus 400,000 Serbian refugees from Astasa held Bosnia and Herzegovina. By the end of war, 137,000 Serbs have permanently left the territories of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Communist Yugoslavia Communist authorities implemented a policy of silent demographic emptying of Serbs from Bosnia by dividing Serbs into several republics causing a brain drain of Serbs from Bosnia to Serbia. Also, the communist policies of rapid urbanization and industrialization devastated the traditional rural life of Serbs, causing drastic halt in natural growth of Serbs. The first Yugoslav census recorded a decreasing number of Serbs, from the first census in 1948 to the last one from 1991, the percentage of Serbs decreased from 44.3% to 31.2%, even though the total number increased. According to the 1953 census, Serbs were in the majority in 74% of the territory of Bosnia and Herzegovina, and according to the census of 2013, Serbs are the majority on over 50% of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Their total number in 1953 was 1 million, 261,405. According to the 1961 census, Serbs made up 42.9% of total population and their number was 1,406,057. After that, districts were divided into smaller municipalities. According to the 1971 census, Serbs were 37.2% of total population and their number was 1,000,000. 393,148. According to the 1981 census, Serbs made up 32.2% of total population and their number was 1,320,644. After 1981, their percentage continued to reduce. From 1971 to 1991, the percentage of Serbs fell due to emigration into Montenegro, Serbia and Western Europe. According to the 1991 census, Serbs were 31.21% of the total population, and their number was 1,369,258. Bosnian War The total number of Serbs in Bosnia and Herzegovina continued to reduce, especially after the Bosnian War broke out in 1992. Soon, an exodus of Bosnian Serbs occurred when a large number of Serbs were expelled from central Bosnia, Osrin, Sarajevo, western Herzegovina, and Krajina. According to the 1996 census, made by UNHCR and unrecognized by Sarajevo, 
there was 3,919,953 inhabitants, of which 1,484,537.9% were Serbs. In the territory of Bosnia and Herzegovina, the percentage of Serbs slightly changed, although their total number reduced. Politics, six, six, politics, six, politics, politics. State level, the Parliamentary Assembly of Bosnia and Herzegovina has two chambers, the House of Representatives and the House of Peoples. The House of Representatives has 42 members who are elected directly by voters, of which 28 are from the Federation and 14 from Republika Srpska, the Serb entity of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The House of Peoples has 15 members, 5 Bosniaks, 5 Croats and 5 Serbs who are each elected for a four-year term. Bosniak and Croat members of the House of Peoples are elected by the Parliament of the Federation of Bosnia, and Herzegovina, while the five Serb members are elected by the National Assembly of Republika Srpska. The Presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina has three members, one Bosniak, one Croat and one Serb who are tasked with foreign, diplomatic and military affairs, as well as the budget of state-level institutions. The Bosniak and the Croat are elected in the Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, while the Serb is elected in the Republika Srpska. Additionally, the Chairman of the Council of Ministers of Bosnia and Herzegovina is nominated by the Presidency and confirmed by the House of Representatives. This post switches between Croat, Bosniak and Serb representation every eight months. The current President of the Republika Srpska is Zeljka Sivijanovic. The current Serb member of the Presidency is Milorad Dodik of the SNSD. Federal level, like the Federation, Republika Srpska has its own People's Assembly. It consists of 83 members. Republika Srpska has jurisdiction over its own health care, education, agriculture, culture, veteran issues, labor, police, and internal affairs. The Constitution of Republika Srpska notes that the entity has its own president, as well as the ability to perform its own constitutional, legislative, executive, and judicial functions. This includes a police force, supreme court, and lower courts, customs service under the state-level customs service, and a postal service. Republika Srpska also has a prime minister and 16 ministries. It also has its symbols, including coat of arms, flag a variant of the Serbian flag without the coat of arms displayed and entity anthem. Although the constitution names Sarajevo as the capital of Republika Srpska, the northwestern city of Banja Luka is the headquarters of most of the institutions of government, including the parliament, and is therefore the de facto capital. After the war, Republika Srpska retained its army, but in August 2005, the parliament consented to transfer control of the army of Republika Srpska to a state-level ministry and abolish the entity's defense ministry and army by 1 January 2006. These reforms were required by NATO as a precondition of Bosnia and Herzegovina's admission to the Partnership for Peace program. Bosnia and Herzegovina joined the program in December 2006. Political parties Currently, there are several Serbian political parties in Bosnia and Herzegovina and Republic of Srpska. The Serbian Democratic Party SDS the Alliance of Independent Social Democrats SNSD and Party of Democratic Progress PDP are the most popular parties. SDS was founded in 1990 and is major political parties among Bosnian Serbs, being the most powerful during the Bosnian Civil War 1992-1995. SNSD was founded on pro-European, democratic, federalist, socialist principles, but has later on switched its tendencies into populism and pro-Russian external policies. PDP is Christian, democratic, traditionalist, conservative, and pro-Europeanist political party. Culture Cultural and Education Society, Prosjeta was founded in Sarajevo in 1902. It quickly became the most important organization gathering ethnic Serb citizens. In 1903, 
was founded Gadrit Serbian Muslim Cultural Society. Academy of Sciences and Arts of the Republika Srpska, active since 1996. Architecture and Art Bosnia and Herzegovina is rich in Serbian architecture, especially when it comes to numerous Serbian churches and monasteries. Modern Serbo-Byzantine architectural style, which started in the second half of the 19th century, is not only present in the sacral, but also in civil architecture. Churches and monasteries are decorated with frescoes and iconostases. Museum of Old Orthodox Church in Sarajevo is among the five in the world by its rich treasury of icons and other objects dating from different centuries. Serbs of Bosnia and Herzegovina have made a significant contribution to modern Serbian painting. Notable painters include Milos Bajic, Javan Bajelic, Spiro Bakaric, Vera Bazakovic Popovic, Stajan Selic, Vojo Dimitrijevic, Lazar Drl Jaka, Ost Urseg, Nedeljko Jivazdanovic, Kosta Hakman, Momo Kapper, Ratko Lalik, Doko Mezolik, Svetislav Mandik, Radinko Misic, Milovan Vidak, Rista In 1907, P. Popovic, Radulovic, and Svirakic exhibited in one of the two exhibitions that year that marked the beginnings of the modern painting tradition in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Among the sculptors prominent is Esrten Stajanovic. Language and Literature The Serbs of Bosnia and Herzegovina speak the Eastern Herzegovinian dialect of Serbian language, for which is characteristic Ijgavian pronunciation. Traces of Serbian language on this territory are very old, which prove old inscriptions, such as Giardis's tombstone, the oldest known stekek. One of the most important Serbian manuscripts, Miroslav Gospel, was written for the Serbian Grand Prince Miroslav of Hum. Serbian language is rich with several medieval gospels written in Bosnia and Herzegovina. They are decorated with miniatures. In the early 16th century, Bozidar Gorazdanin founded Gorazd Printing House. It was one of the earliest printing houses among the Serbs, and the first in the territory of present-day Bosnia and Herzegovina. Gorazd Salter printed there is counted among the better accomplishments of early Serb printers. Bosnian Serbs gave significant contribution to the Serbian epic poetry. Famous singers of the epic poetry are Filip Visnjic and Tesin Padragovic. The works of Serbian writers from Bosnia and Herzegovina are of great importance to the entire Serbian literature. Notable authors include Avo Andrik, Branko Kopic, Mesa Selimovic, Svetizar Korovic, Petr Kosic, Sima Milutinovic Sarajlija, Borovoj Jevtik, Javan Palavstra, Javan Krsik, Gavrovakovic Krajisnik, Alexis Santik, Javan Dusik, Javan Sundesik, Marko Viranjasevic, M. Laden Alja, Basen Skavila from Sarajevo, and Zora from Most are founded in the 19th century are important literary magazines. Music Music of Serbs in Bosnia and Herzegovina include traditional instruments such as gusel, frula, gadged, tamburica, etc. First Serbian singing societies in Bosnia and Herzegovina were set up in Foka 1885, Tuzla 1886, Rajdor 1887, Mostar and Sarajevo 1888 and other cities across the country. First concert in Bosnia and Herzegovina was held in Banja Luka in 1881. Serbian music is rich in folk songs of Serbian people in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Many songs are performed in traditional way of singing called Ajkanj. Serbian singers and composers such as Ray Jovanovic, Jovica Petkovic, Dragica Nedovic and others gave significant contribution to special type of songs called Sevdalinka. Alexis Santik's poem Emina became one of the most known Sevdalinkas. Notable performers of folk music include Vyuka Seherovic, Nana Mamila, Nedeljko Bilkic, Nana Abrik, Marinko Rokvic, etc. Bosnian and Hergovians Serbs largely participated in Yugoslav pop rock scene that was active since the end of the World War Roman II until the breakup of the country. Serbian musicians are members and often leaders of popular bands such as Ambassadori, Bajilo Dugmi, Bombaj Stampa, Indexi, 
Plavi Orchestar Pro Art Regina, Fetreni Poljubak, C. Dravko Kalic is one of the biggest Yugoslav and Serbian music stars. Among singer-songwriters' significant career made Jadranka Stajakovic, Esser Dan Marjanovic. Post-Yugoslav popular music singers include Zeljko Samardzik, Romana, Nedeljko Bajik Baja, Sasa, and Dijan Matic. Dusan Sestik composed national anthem of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Theater and Cinema the first theater show in Bosnia and Herzegovina was organized by Serb Stevo Petronovic in Tesinj in 1865, while the first shows in Sarajevo were organized in the house of Serb Dispik family. The first feature film in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Major Balk, was directed by Nikola Popovic by the script of Branko Kopic. Significant directors include Emir Kusturica, double winner of the Palme d'Or at the Cannes Film Festival, Sidravko Satra, Nebad Sakamadena, Pridrag Golubovic, Boro Draskovic, Gorsin Stajanovic, Radovoj Andrik, Omjinka Malaisvic, Miroslav Belovic, Dijan Majak, Egon Sabin. Long. Among the SRN writers prominent are Gordon Mihik, Ranko Bozik, Esordan Kuljevic. Actors that achieved success in Yugoslav and Serbian cinematography include Pridrag Tasavak, Branko Plesa, Marko Todorovic, Tomo Kuruzovic, Tamara Milevic, Slobodan Durik, Slobodan Kustic, Tihamir Stanik, Nikola Pejakovic, Nebaj Sablogovac, Davar Dujmovic, Natasa Ninkovic, Danin. Folklore Serbs of Bosnia and Herzegovina gave significant contribution to the folklore of Serbian people, including folk costume, music, traditional singing and instruments, epic poetry, crafts, and dances. The dresses of Bosnia are divided into two groups, the Dinaric and Pannonian styles. In eastern Herzegovina, the folk costumes are closely related to those of old Herzegovina. Cultural and artistic societies across the country practice folklore tradition. Education The first education institutions of Bosnian Serbs were monasteries, of which the most significant were Dobrun, Klisina Krupa on Vyarbas, Lipulj, Mostanica, Osrin Tabna, Tvrdos, Grakinica of Herzegovina, Stopulj, Dani Bisnia, among many others throughout Bosnia and Herzegovina. The most significant people working for the elementary education of Bosnian Serbs in the 19th century were Javan Dusik, Petr Kosik, and Alexis Santik, among others who founded and organized elementary schools throughout Bosnia and Herzegovina. Staka Skenderova established Sarajevo's first school for girls on 19 October 1858. The educational system in Ottoman era and Austro-Hungarian occupation was based on strict negation and suppression of Serbian identity. The educational system of Bosnia and Herzegovina during communism was based on a mixture of nationalities and the suppression of Serb identity. With the foundation of Serb Republic of Bosnia and Herzegovina, later simply called Serb Republic, Bosnian Serb schools took the educational system from Serbia. At the same time, University of Sarajevo split into two, one Muslim in western Sarajevo and one Serbian, renamed University of East Sarajevo with official Serbian language, the latter having most of the pre-war professors and lecturers. There is also Serbian University in Banja Luka, called University of Banja Luka. After signing the Dayton Accords, jurisdiction over education in Republika Srpska was given to Aris government, while in Federation jurisdiction over education was given to the cantons. Municipalities with Serb majority or significant minority Schools with Serbian language as official one also exist. Another education institutes are Agricultural Institute of Republic of Srpska Banja Luka, Scientific Research Institute of University of Banja Luka, Institute of Genetic Resources in Banja Luka, Serbian Lexicographic Institute of Bosnia and Herzegovina, Research Institute for Materials and Constructions of Serb Republic and Institute for In Religion. The Serbs of Bosnia and Herzegovina are predominantly Eastern Orthodox Christians, belonging to the Serbian Orthodox Church. 
Serbian Orthodox Church in Bosnia and Herzegovina is organized in five subdivisions, one Metropolitanate Dabar and Bosnia, and four eparchies Bihak and Petrovac, Banja Luka, Sivornik and Tuzla, and Zahonj and Herzegovina. Eparchy of Zahonj and Herzegovina, earlier the Metropolitanate of Zahonj, was founded in 1219 by Archbishop Sava. The same year the Serbian Orthodox Church acquired its autocephaly status from Constantinople. Thus, it was one of the original Serbian Orthodox bishoprics. Bosnian Serb Makarij Sokolovic was the first patriarch of the restored Serbian Patriarchate after its lapse in 1463 that resulted from the Ottoman conquest of Serbia. He is celebrated as saint. Several Bosnian Serbs are beatified in Serbian Orthodox Church, of which one of the most famous is Basil of Ostrog. The first Serbian high school opened in Bosnia and Herzegovina was Sarajevo Orthodox Seminary in 1882. On the grounds of this seminary was founded the theological faculty in Foka, as part of the University of East Sarajevo. Between 1866 and 1878 in Banja Luka worked theological school, while nowadays is active theological school in Foka. There are many Serbian churches and monasteries across the Bosnia and Herzegovina hailing from different periods. Each subdivision has its cathedral, church, and bishop's palace. Sport Serbs of Bosnia and Herzegovina have contributed significantly to the Yugoslav and Serbian sport. First Serbian Sokol societies on the present territory of Bosnia and Herzegovina were founded in the late 19th century by intellectuals. Stevan Zakula, Croatian Serb, is remembered as a prominent worker in opening and maintaining Sokol and gymnastic clubs. Zakula was the initiator of the establishment of Serbian Gymnastics Society Obelik in Mostar and Sports and Gymnastics Society Serbian Soko in Tuzla. Sokol societies were also established in another cities across the Bosnia and Herzegovina. Football is the most popular sport among the Bosnian Serbs. The oldest Serb-dominated club in Bosnia and Herzegovina is Slavija Estakno Sarajevo, founded in 1908, while one of the most popular is Borat Banja Luka winner of Mitropa Cup and Yugoslav Cup. Serbian clubs participate in Premier League of Bosnia and Herzegovina, and First League of the Republika Srpska, which is run by Football Association of Republika Srpska. Notable players that represented Yugoslavia, Serbia, and Bosnia include Branko Stankovic, Milan Galic, Velimir Sambalak, Dusan Bajvic, Bosko Antic, Ilija Pantelic, Milo Sestic, Savo Milosvic, Mladen Kr Stajic, Nevin Sabotic, Zivi Jezdin Misimovic, Luka Javic, Sergej Milinkovic Savic, C.V. Jezdin Misimovic served as captain of the Bosnia and Herzegovina national team from 2007 to 2012 while Lupo Petrovic led Red Star Belgrade to the Champions League trophy in 1991. Marko Marin is a German player of Serbian ethnicity. Sikin Stankovic is an Austrian player of Serbian ethnicity. The second most popular sport among Bosnian Serbs is basketball. Aleksandr Nikolic is often referred to as the father of Yugoslav basketball. He was voted two times European Coach of the Year, winning three Euroleagues, and two times FIBA Intercontinental Cup. Second of four fathers of Yugoslav basketball is Borislav Stankovic, former General Secretary of FIBA and IOC member. Some of the players that successfully competed at the biggest world competitions are Ratko Radovanovic, Drazen Dalapajic, Soren Savic, Pridrag Danilovic, Vladimir Radmanovic, Jelica Komnenovic, Sladana Golik, Sasakado, Ogden Kosmic. K.K. Agokia currently plays in regional ABA league. Handball club Borak Banja Luka is the most successful Serbian handball club in Bosnia and Herzegovina. It won EHF Champions League in 1976 and was runner-up in 1975. Svetlana Kitik was voted the best female handball player ever by the International Handball Federation. Other accomplished players include Dejan Milanovic, Milorad Karolik, Nebatsa Popovic, Zilatan Arnatovic, Radmila Djaka, 
Vesna Radovic, Nebaj Sagalik, Mladen Bajanovic, Danijel Sarek. The most famous Serbian volleyball family, Giarbic family, hails from Trebinje in eastern Herzegovina. Father Milos was the captain of the team that won first Yugoslav medal at European Championship, while sons Vanya and Nikola became Olympic champions with Serbian team. Other players that represented Serbia with success are Dord Durek, Brankic and Mihedlovic, Tijana Baskovic, Jelena Blagojevic, Sanya and Sasa Starovic. Mitter Durek is a Greek male volleyball player of Serbian ethnicity. Besides team sports, Bosnian Serbs achieved success and in individual sports such as Slavodin and Tadija Kakar in boxing. Notable people